Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you liked this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. To my day ones, twos, and threes, thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in. That means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged, some is not. And the fair act use is in my description box, y'all. So, let's get to it, y'all. Uh, let's get to it. So, a word on the street, y'all. I don't know if y'all have heard or not. But they are saying that the guy, that, um, the hitter that came back and, you know, hit his bodyguard in the chest, y'all. Um, they are saying that it was a white guy, y'all. Word on the street. This is what they're saying. Not only are they saying that this is coming out, but they are saying that some guys came by Drake's house and sit outside in the car and was bumping their music. So it wasn't really a drive by. It was people sitting outside his house bumping their music real loud at two o'clock in the morning, trying to get somebody to come out. And then the security guard came out, and that's when the security guard was hit in the chest, y'all. So it wasn't even a drive by. They were sitting there waiting to kick it off. Okay, y'all? They was ready to set something off up in there. Okay, y'all? So new details are coming out. Allegedly, this is what they're saying. Now, another thing that's going around right now, this is being reported that the very next day after Drake's security guard was hit in the chest, um... They're saying that somebody else came by the next day to the house. A trespasser. Y'all, this is what they're saying. And they're saying that this person was on his way to the door and he was stopped by Drake's security. His other security. Okay? So, when the other security came out and stopped him, they held him there until the police came. And then the police came and arrested this individual. Okay, y'all? So this is two days in a row that somebody came to Drake's house, the same house, y'all. Okay? Now, the police are reporting that this guy had some screws missing. Okay? He wasn't all there in the head. Okay, y'all? So this is what they put it under to somebody that was, you know, cuckoo for Cocoa Buffs. So this is what they put it under as it wasn't nobody of no seriousness of this and that, deadness, but it was somebody that had some screws missing. This is what they're saying, who the second attempt to come to his house was. Now, reports are coming in, y'all, that the security guard that was hit up in the chest, they're saying he's not doing too good, okay? So, you know, all I can say is prayers up for him because, you know, you got to be careful of the company that you keep. I keep saying this, y'all. You got to be careful of the company you keep. And they're saying he's, he's doing bad. After surgery, he's still doing bad. This is what they're saying. Now, another thing that they're saying is they're bringing up Kendrick Lamar again. And now they're saying that if this man passes away, or even if he don't pass away, that his family is about to sue Kendrick because he put the address out so that uh, people would know where Drake stays at. Now, I'm going to tell y'all this, okay? Um, I don't see this getting any traction, to be honest. And I'm going to say this because his address was already out there. I don't know how many times I got to say this, but his address was already out there. Just because somebody repeated doesn't make that person responsible because they repeat something that's already out there. Okay, y'all? It was. Now, as far as that, you can say that you can sue Drake too then. The family should, if that's the case. If you're going to try to sue Kendrick, sue Drake. He was the one out here publicly beefing with a lot of people, calling people out on the songs and all kind of stuff. So wouldn't he be held responsible for it too? I'm just saying, y'all, okay? You have to watch the company you keep. You have to watch the jobs that you also pick, okay? There's a story that somebody sent me the other day about a woman. I forgot where it was at. I think it might have been Memphis. I'm not 100% sure. I have to go back and look. But anyway, she was a security guard, y'all. And she worked for the prison. And she was, you know, attacked at the prison. 
Now, of course, she was, you know, doing her round. I think she was a nurse. She might not have been. She, she was either a nurse or security. I think she might have been a nurse. I might be getting it mixed up with something else. I think she was a nurse. But she worked the prison system. And when she come out, everybody's supposed to be, you know, people are supposed to be locked down. But she was not. Everybody was supposed to be locked down. But one time she showed up and this guy was out. And he just roamed in the building as if he's supposed to be out. But this guy was cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. And she was attacked, y'all. And she was on there talking about, you know, her job and this and that and, that and this. But she chose that job. She chose that. And to be honest with y'all, that comes with the territory. If you are working at prison systems, you know, for the prison system and going in and out of the jail, it's a possibility that you might get attacked. Because they don't always have those guys under control. So why pick a job like that if you so, now she's just all batty and all, like she's just, I don't know, da, 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 da. but why would you pick a job like that? It makes no sense. See, some of these women got some screws missing too because they want to just be there and be, you know, thinking that, oh, I'm going to be the center of attention because all of these guys is locked up and they women is not around. So they're going to be looking at me, but they don't never think the fact that you might get assaulted, you might get attacked while you're working these jobs. So this this what comes with the territory. Just like this comes with the territory when you are security for these rappers. This comes with the territory. When you have a rapper that's running around here thinking that his shitaka don't stink, okay? And he's running around thinking that he's so protected and he could talk to anybody any kind of way. He can do whatever he wants to people. And stuff like this. And you can come at anybody with your rap songs. You can talk about people's, you know, loved ones that have passed away. When you're doing this type of stuff, I'm just saying, you got to be ready for whatever. And if you're working for somebody like this, you got to be ready for to take, to take a fall. If somebody come at him, you got to be ready for that. So don't blame everybody else, even the family. How can y'all blame? <laughs> y'all can't blame Kendrick for nothing. When this man was beefing with several people, not just him. But this is what they call themselves trying to do now. Trying to get these people to try to sue Kendrick because he put his address out there. Well, his address was already out there, y'all. This is what they call themselves doing. They're trying everything in their power to shut Kendrick up. And a lot of people is is they dragging Drake right now because they are saying that they find it really, really odd that, you know, Kendrick put out that last song and that last song took him out of there. OK, this last song dropped Drake on his face. OK, y'all. And word on the street was Kendrick had another song that was supposed to be released, but it didn't get released because of the fact that, you know, Drake's security was hit up. So he did not release it yet, y'all. Okay, but what better way to shut all of this stuff down? Like I said before, then to, I'm just saying, y'all, let one of your own people take one for the team so you can look like you are the victim and people are picking on you. Okay, y'all. Now, the very next day, somebody come to his house, y'all. Come on now. Y'all make this make sense because it's just starting to look as if he just is so victimized. Oh, everybody is just after me and want me and I didn't do no wrong. Come on now, y'all. Please can it. Okay. And I hope that Kendrick still released that other song because he's hot, hot right now. So why not release it? Okay, y'all. This is rap. This is what it's about. When you battle with somebody... If you feel that you're man enough to battle with that person, then you should be man enough to take it if that person is better than you. Ain't nobody got time for all of this crap on your shoulder stuff, okay? I hope his security guard, you know, get better. I hope he wake up and get some sense that Drake is not, trying to protect Drake is not worth your life. So maybe this will be a wake up call for him. But this is not his fault. If anything, this is Drake's fault. And it's his fault for even wanting to be this the job you chose to be security. I don't care if you were security for Drake or if you were security for a store or this and that and that and this. 
This comes with the territory. When somebody come in there, go try to rob that store, you go, they coming for the security first. They got to get you out of the way so that they can get to the money. And this is how it is. People have to be careful of the jobs that they choose. Seriously, y'all. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about the second attempt to come to Drake's house the second time. Okay, y'all? I don't think it's going to stop, to be honest. He going to have to have around the clock security, more cameras put out, police patrolling his house and all kind of stuff now. Because now that it didn't hit the fan, it seemed like all of the uh, cuckoo for Cocoa Puff people are coming out the woodwork. And they're all coming for little Drake, y'all. Okay? But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.